What's up, y'all? Let's start this vloggy vlog. So I have a strapless top on. Had to make sure I scooch all the way up so that you could see it, but got a little Jimin off the shoulder era. Yeah. Hello. Hello, 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 booktubing world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So I'm super excited to do this video today because it's going to be a new series. Like, I know I told you guys in the beginning of the year that I'm trying to add more videos to the series that I've already started, but I really want to start the series, so I'm just going to start it. It is what it is. Like, I'm adding more videos to the series that I've already started as best that I can, but it's time. It's time to start this series, okay? And this series is gonna be called the Letters and Latte series. And I've found a ton of like coffee shops that I wanna take you guys because you know, I love traveling. I love taking you guys to different bookstores and different restaurants. So I figured why not go to different coffee shops too? So I know Starbucks is everybody's favorite, okay, and all that. In Georgia, there are so many different coffee shops, mom and pop shops, places that I've never been before. And I'm not really a big coffee girl. I like tea and kombucha, but I don't mind coffee. Like, if it's just like a, a, a glass where I can, like, just sit down in a coffee shop and just hang out. I love doing that, but... I want to take you guys with me so I figured I would start the series where we go to different coffee shops I get to show you guys around I'm not sure if any of them will have books there but yeah so I'll show you guys around the coffee shops and then we'll read some manga so these vlogs are only going to be one day and as you know I am a long content girly I like to talk to y'all I like to show y'all everything the blades of grass the sun shining <laughs> like I like to show y'all everything that's going on around me and I can't promise that these won't be long but my goal is for this to only be one day something quick something fun and the TBR being manga because it'll only be one day I'll be able to just you know fly through these talk about them and show you guys a nice coffee shop so i thought it would be really fun and uh, okay i'm trying to think if i want to talk about this hmm okay i guess i'll touch on it but the reason that i'm starting this series is because like my other series that i started the hungry bookworm where i just like go to different restaurants and read and stuff i think i've only done like two one of those videos but i do want to do more of those but the whole point is to just like explore my city because like the fact that i've been here for i've been back in georgia for like i think four years maybe has it been like four years and i just feel like i just get so into my head and so into my goals that i'm just like focusing on work and just like the day-to-day -day is just like work gym work gym and that's it and just like making sure my body's taken care of i'm drinking water i'm cooking and doing all that stuff i feel like i lose track of like exploring the city around me like the fact that i've been here for so long and i haven't really gone out to eat much or gone anywhere like i am a homebody so that's part of the reason but it's just like life is too short <laughs> and I don't want to start this video off dark, but I am going to keep it a hundred with y'all. Like, you know, I like to keep it a buck. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But a lot of people that I went to high school with or people that I was friends with or people that I worked with, just like they're, they've all unexpectedly died very young. Not all of the people, not, not everyone, obviously, but like a lot of people around me <laughs> have died really young and unexpectedly and like the major cause is cancer and another major cause is like different type of gun violence like something to the extent of gun violence so it's a little bit scary <laughs> for me but i don't have anxiety around it because there's nothing i can do about it i don't have any control over what happens in other people's lives but it is very jarring especially if it's an illness to see someone die in their 20s or die in their early 30s or die before they get to really live their life kind of sh it's it's shocking but it also gives me it also opened my eyes to like just enjoy my life more like obviously all of us right now are trying to survive especially if you live in america with all this shit that's going on politically and just like the economically and everything and just and also if you're black on top of all that it's just a nightmare but i feel like we focus so much on trying to survive that we don't 
you know stop and smell the flowers so i just kind of want to like embrace my life more i've been trying to like read outside more i've been trying to connect with like my loved ones more and make sure i call them and see them and hug them and stuff like that because just like life is so short i've just seen so many people around me people that i was really tight with in high school just barely get to live their lives and i'm here you know enjoying my life living my life and i just want to explore and do more with my life aside from working like aside from working and just trying to survive you know what i'm saying so obviously that that's honestly why i wanted to start the series and also because i want to show you guys the different coffee shops but i just want to you know explore the places that i'm at as best that i can because there's more to life than working and stressing and being overwhelmed and panicking every second. It's just like there's more to life than just that. And I don't know. I just really wanted to start the series with you guys because I just wanted to explore my city. You know what I'm saying? Especially because the weather's getting hot. Hey, when the weather get hot, I be outside. <laughs> when the weather get hot, I be outside. I'm trying to take y'all with me. So it was really gloomy today. Like early this morning, it was like pouring rain like it was bad weather but now the sun has come out and decided to grace us so i want to take you guys to this little coffee shop i've never been here before but it is near my house so i'm excited to go and sit down and read sorry for <laughs> kicking this video off with like depressing dark commentary but i just wanted to be honest about why i'm starting the series and just like where my head is at and i'm just trying to embrace life more you know i just try to make sure I focus on things that make me happy obviously I acknowledge everything that happens in my life but there are good things too so let's enjoy the good together <laughs> on that note let's talk about our TBR so I've talked about a couple of these I think I've talked about these in my last book haul which I will put up, put up here if you guys haven't seen it yet but I'm in such a mood to like reread all of my favorite books I've ever read and one of them being sweat and soap like this is like one of my favorite mangas one of my favorite couples and I have their box set I've just been flying through their their volumes and I'm halfway through volume three this is my second time reading it and it's very interesting because I think I read this two years ago I'm looking at my ratings and this is the the one I've rated the lowest and honestly so far I've, I'm really really enjoying this this is more like a four or five star I don't know why I rated it so low two years ago but it's really interesting to reread and see where my head is at now and I'm enjoying that so I have about this much left this, <laughs> can you see this much left in that one third volume of sweat and soap if you ain't read it yet then you should you should read it if you don't know what sweat and soap is about it's basically following this couple that are both working for a company that's like Bath and Body Works and she really has an issue with like sweating and overheating and it's always been a problem for her so she really enjoys the soaps. She works in the finance department, he works in like the fragrance department. This is what he do and he also has like a smelling kink and he's got a smell of her aura and he's been hooked ever since. I know it sounds weird <laughs> but like hear me out. They have the best relationship, the best communication, just like the best work environment it's just very cute it's very cute wholesome it's very diverse it's very found family-esque it's very very family bound they have great conversations it's just a good manga so if you want to pick up a good manga i highly recommend sweat and soap and then i have these two this one is kaiju 8 and i picked this one up because everyone says it's very similar to tokyo ghoul and tokyo ghoul is one of my favorite mangas of all time so I'm trying to see what this is about and basically I think this follows a world where monsters kind of have taken over the city but they have and there's people that go to specific areas where the monsters were and clean up after them but this guy that's one of the cleaners turning into a monster in some type of way I don't know if the blood touches him or the monster attacks him or what happens but he ends up doubling as one of the monsters i don't know what happens but we're gonna get into that and then i also have this one this was just this is just a smutty book i, I don't even think <laughs> i don't even know if this has a plot but this is and it's wrapped so you know when it's wrapped you know what's gonna happen when, when the manga's wrapped you know exactly what's gonna happen i think it just follows like a firefighter 
and his girlfriend I don't know but I don't know what the plot is I heard Ashley from bookish realm talk about this book so I'm like hey let's get to it if I like them then I'll read the other volumes and see what it's about we'll see we'll see how it goes Sha. I don't even know but yeah that's our TBR for this bada bing so let's head over to the coffee shop let's get some coffee chill vibes you know what i'm saying i hope they have tables because i've never been here before but we will see together okay so bye see y'all next clip you see my fit okay a little island this is where we're going hmm i'm gonna say rotham I think that's how you say it. Let's see, let's see. That looks so cute. Used to have each other's playlists. No, no. Used to be each other's best friends. 
Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind Yeah And maybe we could try it next week Again But I don't wanna think we're toxic But who cares You said that we're all glasses are super foggy okay here to close the vlog we're at the end of the day I finished all three of the mangas but let's talk about the coffee shop so I went to the coffee shop it was very chill it very it was like jazz music it had a lot of like older furniture and a whole bunch of like Korean books because I live in an area where there's a lot a lot of Korean stores <laughs> so that was like a Korean coffee shop but there were Korean people there there were black people there I was there so it was like it was a mix but it was like a cafe it was felt like a jazz cafe it was very low-key very quiet they had a ton of options for coffees they had cute little pastries I got Got the white I think it was like white mocha choca or something like that so it was like a coffee white chocolate with coffee and I mixed it off it was really good but I got it cold because it kind of was like hot so I didn't want to like overheat and get get it hot so I ended up getting it cold it was really good and I got those little <laughs> I got those little flower candies and I finished Sweat and Soap in there. And then I finished Kaiju number eight. And Sweat and Soap, I finished Sweat and Soap volume three. So I was already halfway done with this one. Really enjoyed it. There was, they went on their first trip together in this one. And I think like one of his coworkers had a crush on him or something like that. So they kind of like touched on that subject there and also deciding if they want to make their relationships public relationship public so this is like the the 
the turning point of the volumes where like their relationship gets a little bit more serious so I really enjoyed this one which is weird because like I said I read it two years ago and I rated it lower than the other one so I don't know why I didn't like this as much before but really enjoyed that and then I read Kaiju number eight and this one was really fun like it kind of put me in the mind of like Venom or what is that other it's not Spider-Man but like the dude what is his name pan deadpan is it deadpan deadpool that's what it is god i was looking for that forever so it kind of, like i said it kind of puts me in the mind of like venom or deadpool i don't think i ever saw deadpool but it kind of has like that humor to it and it is similar to Tok tokyo ghoul because the main character what is his name kafka the main character, Kafka, he's like the in the part of the cleanup crew because there's monsters that are coexisting in their city and they have like a whole military base that basically tracks down the monsters and kills them and growing up, him and his like childhood best friend always said that they would like join that military force and take down the monsters or whatever but like something with, went wrong and they ended up like splitting up and now she's like the head honcho over there and he never really like got fully into it and now he's a part of like the cleanup crew and he's older so he's getting closer to the age where he can't enlist one of his new co-workers comes in and kind of convinces him to not give up on his dreams during one of his cleanups con comes into contact with one of the kaiju and it kind of like takes over his body so he has <laughs> he now has the ability to switch into his own version of a kaiju and it's just like a really cool world i'm really enjoying it all of the characters in here seem interesting so i'm definitely going to pick up the second volume for this what would i rate this i feel like i'll give it like a i'll give this like a 3.75 well honestly four star no I think I'll give it like a 3.5, 3.75. I really enjoyed it. The storyline was fun. Illustrations were really good. And I think it'll just be fun to follow along because the characters that are introduced seem interesting. Cool backstories, cool motivations, very fun time. Excited to read more of these. And then Fire and His Fingertips. Literally within 10 pages, titties was out. Like the titties were out in the wind <laughs> like this was just straight up just smut like that that literally was it so her name is Ryo and his name is Suma and Ryo and Suma have been best friends forever she tried to hook him up with like her friends and stuff like that because she's trying to get him to settle down and he's basically like a player like he's not trying to do that and she ends up her apartment ends up getting set on fire because there's like a, a arson that's going around just like setting random things on fire and her apartment ends up falling victim to that and he's a firefighter he ends up going in and rescuing her so now she doesn't have a place to live she has to move in with him and then things ensue from there but apparently Suma has had a crush on her for a while but because he's a player she really is not to, trying to take him seriously at all but he's trying to find the confidence to tell her that he like he likes her likes her but 90% of this is literally just smut this I think this is the first time I've read a manga that is like this smutty <laughs> sweat and soap has a couple of scenes that are a little bit steamy but it's not as intense as this is and this was my first time reading something like that first time reading a wrapped manga Th this was something something else but it's pretty good it's cute and it was a good time so I finished all three of these and I enjoyed the coffee shop I definitely will go back there because it's like in my area and it's just very chill like and I guess they have like live bands and stuff like that so it just would be nice to go there just get coffee and just read and relax so it was nice they also had like an outdoor area so I sat out there for a little bit and it just was fun like I had a good time it was nice being outside I'm glad the weather got better because it just made the day even better. It was all blue skies. It was beautiful. It's a good time. Good time. So the TBR is complete. And our first Letters and Lattes video is complete. And it was a success. I had a good time. I'm already thinking about what coffee shop I want to go to next. Maybe somewhere like outside of my area or outside of my town. Which would be fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know 
if you've read any of these books <laughs> or if you have any of these books on your tbr i really enjoyed all of them so let me know something that you did recently that made you happy and if you made it to the end of this video please leave this emoji right here in the comment section below and i will see you guys next week for another video okay always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time bye